begin today with the state Senate and Assembly approving the legislative maps submitted by Governor Evers without changes. The Senate passing those maps by an 1814 vote. Then the Assembly late this afternoon voting 6333 to also pass the maps. Governor Evers has yet to comment, but said on Sunday that if the maps passed both the Senate and the Assembly without changes, he would sign them into law. Under the bill, the new maps would not go into effect until the November election. We're joined now by Jason Zimmerman, our political reporter. So Jason, are you surprised by the timing of this? I know you spoke to one of the senators that voted against it, one of the Republican senators yeah. uh, voted against it. So. One, were you surprised, and what did you learn from Eric Wimberger? Well, I think uh, one of the things that Eric Wimberger stressed, and he was one of the five Republicans in the state Senate that voted uh, against this. Uh, he says that he wants this to play out in the court system. He's not afraid of it. He says he wants to stay and fight. He prefers it to uh, go to the state Supreme Court. He believes if it does, it'll eventually go to the U.S. Supreme Court. Republicans will come out ahead because, as you know, in the past, that was a, a ruling that's already taken place at the right. federal level. He believes it'll come about again. He believes that instead of taking this, which a lot of people are saying is a huge victory for Governor Evers, even Robin Voss, right. the Assembly yep. Speaker, said that over. himself after this Assembly vote, which he actually supported prior to the vote going in, right. saying that he thinks this is the best move for Republicans, simply stay out of the court system, which right now leans liberal sure. at the state level, he doesn't see an avenue for victory there other than a long drawn out court process, which eventually would take a lot of time and move the uh, debate into the November election. All right, so we should point out, and we're talking about Republicans here, but Democrats, they almost all in both houses voted against us with very few exceptions today. Why do you think Democrats were opposed to their own governor's maps? You know, Chris, you would think that most Democrats would be on board with a, a map that was drawn by Governor Tony Evers. Right. Was, uh, you know, for all sake, the leader of the Democratic Party in this state. But I think Democrats right now think they can do better than this. These maps that, that the governor put forward are maybe will, will, are better than the ones that are out there right now. It will give them a, a, a little bit more of an edge in the next uh, election cycle, but they could do a lot better had the uh, state Supreme Court gotten involved. There was, you know, four other maps that Correct. were presented by consultants, all of them favoring Democrats. Uh, more so than the governor's more map, More so right? than the governor's map. I think the governor actually drew that map mm -hmm. trying to be somewhat fair, and he's thinking maybe we can get this passed without going to court, obviously. Uh, that's not going to happen at this point unless the governor vetoes it. But, uh, you know, I don't see that happening just based on what he said over the weekend. Right. He, he promised to sign them without changes. Everybody's waiting now to hear from him uh, today. His maps, uh, right now, the, the Republican majorities in the legislature, Jason, as you know, 64-35 in the Assembly, 22-10 to 10 in the Senate. And it's the understanding that his maps don't wipe those out. They just make it more contested, closer. More, more competitive. So what we're going to see potentially this fall is a lot of races that maybe weren't races two years ago that are suddenly going to become races. Against incumbents. Uh, against in some incumbents. Cases. And in some cases, some Republicans are going to find themselves in the same district as a fellow Republican, and they may potentially have to run against each other. Mm -hmm. It could be an interesting August to see if this impacts the August primary vote. Yeah, you'd but think again, it would have to, but we don't know that yet. You would think it would have to. A lot of those questions are still out there today because they say it, these new maps don't take effect till November. Correct. So there's obviously going to be a lot of changes. And you know what it comes of competitive races? A lot more money being spent. You also have to think <laughs> a lot more money being spent. And also, you have to think that some of these people, some of these lawmakers, they have voted against these maps. Maybe one of the lawmakers that potentially faces a change or a challenge or puts mm -hmm. himself in another district that, that's now going to be shared. And nobody wants to really be in that position. I mean, essentially, you're taking a vote against yourself today. All right, Jason, thanks so much. And uh, we just wait to hear from the governor. You'll have more on this yeah. coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Appreciate it. Let's turn